So the next force we're going to talk about is the force of thrust. Um, thrust is all about the conservation of momentum in that you're having two systems that are that are exploding away from each other. One is your your rocket or your missile, whatever that that projectile that you're sending. The other is the gas that's being expelled out of the back. Okay, so the equation for that kind of relationship is expressed here. The momentum gain of one is equal to the momentum gain of the other. Um, it's not trivial. I mean, if you think about it, the missile itself is losing mass and can be gaining velocity at the same time, where the the, the particles coming out of the back hopefully will have a, a given velocity and then you have the rate that's being generated, how much mass is being dumped out of the back. So it's not very easy. It's not a simple idea. You need to know a, a good share of calculus in order to solve this problem. Um, I'm just leaving a note here saying that th this idea, we're not going to explore it. it. If you want to explore it on your own, that's a great idea. But for my class, when we talk about thrust, we're going to treat it as an applied force. So for my class, the force of thrust, we're going to consider it to be constant. We're not going to be talking about masses being reduced as it's burning fuel. Okay? So treat it as a constant, treat it as applied force, but it is not that way at all. As a matter of fact, it's, it's completely, it's, it's, it's far more interesting than just than a constant. You're, you're actually you're, you're exchanging these accelerations. You get these peak values because you've dumped so much mass and you're, you're nevertheless. Um, for my class, we're going to treat it as a constant. We're going to treat it as a supplied force. Okay. So if you want to explore more on thrust, uh, come see me or, or do some of your own research. Okay. But that's thrust.